how was it today? Yeah, it was uh, pretty good. Uh, we had a good uh, good night out last night. The lads did. Cool. We got together, a few drinks, and uh, it was good today. Yeah. Is it nice to see? I mean, not only that the weather's held, but also to see so many people out really kind of welcoming you guys back officially. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised at the turnout. I thought it was a very good turnout, and uh, you know, we're all very surprised at the uh, the amount of people that turned up today. Yeah. Like, kind of. You know, how does it make you guys feel? Yeah. It, well, it makes us feel like we're doing something that's worthwhile, really. You know, something to be proud of. You know, it's good to have the support of people uh, within the within the country. You know, the backing us while we're whilst we're away. Brilliant. And obviously, you know, while um, you guys are very much kind of, you know, pleased to be welcome home in such a way. I'm guessing there's a, part, a large part of you that was really, you know, thinking about the lads that didn't make it home as well. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we had some losses, and uh, sort of, uh, it's all on the lads. You know, we we had a kit sale yesterday. Uh, raised, I think it's about fifteen thousand pounds for three uh, three lads that, that passed away, like on the on the tour. And uh, that was really good. Like we had a, a, a good crack, like with the lads, and uh, you know, really, really enjoyable time. Like, you know. good man. And now you're enjoying a period of leave. Yeah, that, that's right. We've had uh, roughly about two, two and a half weeks off. Uh, back to work for this sort of four days, uh, just to close, close out nine to all up. And uh, and then from there, we've, we've got about another seven weeks on leave now. Uh, welcome home, officially. Thank you. Um, how do you feel about today's event? Uh, to be honest, today was extraordinary. Um, none of us really quite knew how many people would turn up, how it would play out. Uh, and I think a, a day of huge emotion. And we're just amazed and surprised how many people of the Plymouth community turned out. And it's really important. The lads know that their town, Plymouth, supports them. And that's a really, really important thing. Yeah. I see a lot of the lads, whether they were allowed to or not, had big grins oh, on their oh, faces. Um, I mean, they, they thoroughly enjoyed it by the looks of things. Absolutely, and I think you know when we're away, we're very focused on what we're doing. Uh, but as you know, many of our families live in Plymouth. Uh, you know, the, bar the barracks is obviously in Plymouth, and we drink in Plymouth. And uh, you know, for the lads to know that the town of Plymouth is behind us is hugely important. And I think they were surprised today. Uh, so grinning Marines is a good thing. Brilliant. Um, a little bit about how they performed in Afghanistan during the last seven months. Um, we had an extraordinary time. Uh, we as 4-2 Commando were, were given an opportunity because we operated right across the south of Afghanistan, focused on writing down the insurgent capability in his safe havens and using manoeuvre. Uh, and we did good commando soldiering. We were agile, we were balanced. Uh, the boys drank a lot of tea. The boys did some very, very severe fighting. Uh, and every time we finished an operation, we could hold our heads up high and say we made a difference and we achieved the mission sets we were asked to do. And that they deserve their period of operational leave? <laughs> they do. Uh, and then when they get back from leave, uh, it'll be right. What's next? So this week for us is sort of Herrick closure, uh, where we've, you know, uh, we're doing a remembrance service this afternoon privately back at Bickley for our fallen, uh, and the families of the fallen were all here being saluted today. Uh, and then we'll go through a medals parade quietly back at Bickley, and then it's job done. Herrick over. What's the future? Uh, and that's how we're playing it. Brilliant. Well, good luck for now and the future, and we'll see you again. I'm sure you will do. Many, many thanks. How do you feel about today's events? It, it was fantastic, uh, overwhelming to see, see much uh, public support there was in Plymouth. Um, I mean, unbelievable. You're, you're a Plymouth lad yourself. How do you feel, you know, coming back and seeing really the city welcome you back in such a way? It was, um, yeah, the hairs were on the back of the neck, and it was, um, it, it was something I've never seen before. It was, it was unbelievable, you know, fantastic reception. And um, well. Obviously, you know, the, the vast majority of you guys came back. Obviously, there was, you know, maybe a thought at the back of a lot of the guys' heads about, you know, the guys that didn't come back, really. Yeah, of course there is, yeah. Um, obviously, with operations I've just done, um, it, there's always going to be um, that nature. But, um, you, know, we've, we've, you know, we've dealt with that. Um, it, it's really, really sad to see, to see your comrades die and, and get injured. Um, and being able to overcome that and, and adapt and, and, and move on. And, you know, re remember them, uh, and as, as they probably would have wanted us to, you know, in the correct manner, uh, which Royal Marines do especially well.